What do we have here? We have the TrueCoat 360 Cordless Connect. So this connects to your impact driver or your drill. So I'm gonna open it up and show you all what it looks like. And this is your first time using one? First time using one. Pretty excited just to see, you know, a new machine, right? So yeah, it comes with obviously your booklet, your instructions, your little color-coded pamphlet booklet, which will pretty much give anyone that's never sprayed before the right information to get in, be confident about getting in the spray. And that's what it's all about, yeah. It's, you don't want it to be a nerve-wracking experience, that's for sure. By the way, I'm Josh from Painting by Josh. If any of you just didn't know, I have painting business in Newcastle and I strive to educate people in general on what I do in the paint game. But yeah, it's just to put new products out there and get the right information into the hands of the peeps. No matter if you're a pro painter, decorator, uh, DIYer, at the end of the day, we're all in this together. So yeah, sharing is succeeding. And what does spray mean to you? Spray means, for me, a better finish. When it comes down to it, at the end of the day, you cannot beat the finish of spray. You know, there's a lot more preparation that goes in to getting everything 100% so you can spray. But at the end of the day, it's all about the finish. I suppose a lot less toll on your body also. That's really it. Like, there's nothing really to it. So I'm just gonna sort of start taking it out. That would have been better. So this here looks like the strainer that you put your lid on your cup it actually has see a little protruding plastic bits there that fits in there and it locks it in so then you strain your paint through that that's very important as well yeah same thing pro painter decorator you always want to strain your paint not only can it cause a lot of damage to your machine cause blockages and it can just be a heartache in general so yeah just eliminate any problems that you could have potentially when it comes to spraying or your finish strain your paint through here which we will do in a minute and you do get two tips with this one i believe the 360 paint tip wide and then you get the stain tip as well so it is what it pretty much says it is. This is for paint, the other one's for stain. We're gonna hook it up anyway. It does come with a little filter here as well, which connects in. Always make sure you have that as well. So yeah, if the strainer has missed anything, which it pretty much won't, you're not getting anything that's sucking through into your little motor and that also. We will flip it over. We will get our drill and we'll see how we go. So fun fact, guys and girls, Drill is for slow, precise work and an impact driver or run and gun wide stuff where you just want to smash a wall out. Thank you for letting me know. Well, you're welcome. We'll spray out a couple of walls just so you can see exactly how it goes on. We'll come over here probably and do this wall over there. I suppose you need your battery on for starters. And this has an extension as well, so it can fit multiple different size batteries or machines the only thing is you just got to get that angle right there you go so that's pretty much it so we what we'll do now we'll strain some paint we'll get it connected up go over and we'll spray a couple of walls out usually too you wouldn't always pour out of a 15 liter it does make it a little bit harder you know pour it into a four liter pot and then you know top it up from the four liter pot would be logical but I've done this before so and this is a one liter cup this is a one liter cup as well so and this is a pretty thick product as well just take your time this machine here is actually an airless also so it's a true airless where a lot of other DIY or you know little machines out there aren't a true airless you get a bit of a dribble down there give it a bit of a wipe bit of paint on your finger it's not gonna hurt anyone is it well <laughs> no, I won't go doing that. Doesn't really taste that good. So, give it a bit of a strain through. All right, now we can take this off. So for me, I'd usually put this into a yeah cup of water, but if you're gonna be using it again, sit it on the lid or something like that, 
whatever works for you, I suppose. This is a pressure cup as well, so it's designed with pressure, so I will show you how we do it also. Have your little air valve opened up for the moment while we connect it up. You got the True Coat 360, or you have the Ultra or the Ultra Max handheld as well, where a lot of you would know that machine. But there is a big price difference in that also. So, like I said, just over three hundred dollars for this unit. All right. So what we got done on the side? It's all loaded up. Open up the valve there, your little air valve, and just release all the air until what will happen here. You'll hear it pop out. Until you give it a good squeeze and then you just start to get a little bit of paint coming through. Shut it up. We know it's pretty much pressurized now and we're right to go. Same thing with all the Graco units. Your prime is down and then flick it to spray. So always just give it a bit of a hold it for 10 seconds. Doesn't have to be 100% but close enough to. Alright, now flick it to spray. We'll give it a go. Make sure the actual tip as well is lined with the actual spray. These are reversible tips as well. So if you do get a blockage, you can flick it around to shoot out your blockage and then flick it back. You can actually turn your tip guard or your nozzle also, depending on which way you do want to spray. Also, now it's a pressurized cup sideways up and down, upside down, whatever you prefer. Just make sure your lid's on when you go upside down so you don't get any spill. Yeah, that's pretty much it. So you able to go over here quickly just to see. I, li I like it already. It's good, eh? <laughs> like, like, seriously, like look at this thing. As well, depending on the quality of your drill or your impact driver, the power that you've got with it will determine how good your spray as well. If you've got a really, I suppose, low quality drill, it's gonna run at a really low pressure and you might have dramas with a little bit of spitting. So it won't atomize the best it will if you've got a high quality drill, impact driver, has got, yeah, better pressure. Anyway, we'll come over here. You know what might be good actually? Get me an apprentice that's never sprayed before. Cameron! Hey bro, you wanna come out here and just give this a little bit of a go? Have Cameron. you ever sprayed paint before, Cameron? No. Never. Never. He's sprayed for about a minute inside a cupboard. So you can say you're finally coming out of the cupboard. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so this is this is really perfect because Cameron never really sprayed before. Actually sprayed for about a minute in his whole life. So yeah, we're gonna give him a little bit of a rundown first and then we'll give it a go. So Cameron, off and on with the trigger. So when you're obviously starting, pull your trigger down, not before, because you will get paint build up. Just before you stop, you wanna go off. You wanna hold it probably 20, 20 to 30 centimeters from the wall, about here. Don't be worried, you know, it's one of them things where you, you have to get comfortable spraying before you can. Well done. I'll just show you up, right? So you're not over like 50 percent each time, yeah? What's your opinion of having something like this compared to the machine that I gave you to try the other week? A lot it, easier mover. Yeah, so it feels a lot more comfortable. If you're a DIYer, yeah. this would be something that you'd want to start to use to get on how it actually a spray gun works. Do you think it beats brushing a rolling wall? Yeah, obviously. <laughs> there we go. So you have it. You know, someone that's never really sprayed before, First time, second time spray, 
and yeah, as you can see, it's pretty good. I was gonna say, we have a brand new $7,000 sprayer there versus the $330 sprayer. Finish quality wise, how does it marry up? Oh, finish quality wise, it's always gonna be a little bit of a comparison, but at the end of the day, you're not gonna get this machine to go getting the most high quality finish. But you that's know. pretty good. <laughs> oh yeah, that's that's really, really good. There's gonna be a difference. You know, no matter what, you, it's not gonna atomize the best as what a $7,000 machine will. But at the end of the day, someone that's not get, that's purchasing a $300 unit or this machine here, gonna do exactly what you want it to and it's still gonna produce a lot better and higher quality finish than what a brush or roller would ever do. And you see it with some of the other, and I'll call them like the turbine sort of units, they splatter like no tomorrow, they're so yeah. slow, where this is, look at that, that's smooth. Yeah, yeah. And that actually, was pretty fast for the most part. Oh yeah, what's the bandwidth on this? You're probably looking at, like that there, that's probably a four. I would say, so like maybe a 415 in the normal spray gun tips. So eight inch fan. So yeah, an eight inch fan. So, you know, like you got four passes on that and you could do a door. Well, let's finish this wall off, shall we? Yep, pretty impressed. Get exclusive to go industrial, uh, jump on, get in contact. Yeah, use your code PBJ and get your uh, discount. Boop, boop.